Former University of South Alabama President Tony Waldrop has passed away in a statement issued by current President Joe Bonner. Waldrop passed away after a lengthy illness in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Dr. Waldrop was the university's third president serving from 2014 to 2021. Now this is video from his first day on the job. He's remembered as a, a pivotal leader who worked tirelessly to improve South's graduation rates, elevate the university's research profile and raise academic standards. His legacy also includes helping get Hancock Whitney Stadium built on the campus and getting the university through the pandemic. In one of his first interviews with Fox 10 News, he talked about his goal of continuing to increase enrollment. You see people in the marketplace uh, that are doing well, and you know that coming here can prepare them for those jobs of the future. I think it's also something that uh, fortunately I came in and the campus had been beautified. We have a lot of nice new buildings. We have a campus that's lovely. Our groundskeepers work hard to maintain the beauty, and that makes a difference to the students. It's also about the faculty and the staff here that are friendly, that welcome the students, that are committed to their success. Dr. Tony Waldrop was 70 years old. He leaves behind his wife, Dr. Julie Waldrop, an assistant dean at the Duke University School of Nursing, as well as their two children. Meanwhile, a guest book will be placed this week in the lobby of the Widden Administration Building next to Dr. Waldrop's picture for those who would like to send their condolences to his family.